So, today we've got the first project in the new garage. Uh, garage is still kind of a mess, but we got to get this done. Uh, we're going to be replacing the struts in this 1994 Mazda Protégé. So, first step is going to be to jack up the car. Okay, so <clears throat> next step is going to be to try to pull this little clip out. That way we can get the brake line off. Uh, I think I'm just going to yoink it with some pliers. going to be free now. So after that, we're going to turn our attentions to these guys. I'm going to stick a slip of wrench on there and a, get a ratchet. We're going to bust these guys loose. Uh, and that should, that appears to be everything holding the strut to the rest of the suspension. up a little bit and hit a little the bit of WD. There we go. I uh, cracked free. See if the impact gun can get it off the rest of the way. No, not that one. Try this one. Oh. Partial success. clearly the correct tool for that. Should be disconnected from there. Uh, next thing we gotta do is disconnect it up at the top. So there's the uh, strut top in the inside the trunk. You can see that top is kind of separating a little bit. That's what's causing my main issue. I got a lot of squeak in this from coming from the uh, passenger corner. Um, instead of just replacing the top, I've decided to replace all uh, both struts, um, full struts, and that's going to mostly just be because they've got a number of years and probably something like fifty to 70,000 miles on them, so it's probably time to replace them anyway. Um, there are two bolts, one there, one back there. This one's nice and easily accessible. Uh, it is a 15 millimeter. At least I thought it was a 15 socket. I do. Um, looks like that's a 14 millimeter. I will try that. Okay, back with the correct socket. Time to crack that free. Anyway, I'm going to drive that back down a little bit and then I can get that off. And then, yeah, spin that off by hand. All right, that's one. Now for the other one, we're gonna go inside the car, and it's kind of sneaky. So I'm gonna pop the seat, and what we do is we pop this guy up and out, and then there's our hole. I want to do this very, this last bit very carefully because I don't want to drop the strut and kink that brake line that's still kind of dangling off of it. 
Oh, it's actually wedged in there. So, I guess I can pull this with confidence. Put that nut there. Alright, finagling with the brake a little bit. just comes right down. There is the new strut right next to the old one. The exact same part, same thing. A nice KYB uh, replacement strut. So putting it in should be pretty much uh, the inverse of removal. Yeah. Alright. Shove that up into its hole. Okay, so I had a little bit of help helping guide that up there because it's hard to do this and see from there. Um, but uh, so definitely helps to have a friend for this. Uh, you could probably do it yourself, but it's real hard. Um, so now that's kind of just dangling in there. Let's go back to the top side and tighten those up. All right, so I've peeled up the parcel shelf, got the ratchet on, <clears throat> and I'm going to take care of that from up here. into there. Got the impact. I'll drive it all the way through. Now, just sort of wiggle. Those are through. Time to stick the nuts on. Last step is going to be get bend this brake line back back into place. I just got to put the wheels back on or put the wheel back on I'll do the other side and then we're done placement on a Mazda Protégé.